Well, welcome back to the Kudlow Report. I'm Larry Kudlow. At the top of this half hour, today, President Obama met with his jobs council. Hopes of getting millions back to work, I suppose. In a moment, I'm going to ask two big U.S. CEOs and one distinguished economist whether the president should just sit this out. Not just the president, all of Congress. But first, what grand ideas did the great and the near great present today? Well, CNBC's Eamon Jabbers joins us again with the details I'm almost afraid to ask, Eamon. <laughs> Hi, Larry. Well, President Barack Obama sat down, as you say, with more than 20 of the nation's top CEOs in Durham, North Carolina today for meetings of his Jobs Council designed to gather ideas for job creation. The president said he's determined to get the job market going in the right direction. I will not be satisfied till everyone who wants a good job that offers some security has a good job that offers security. Now, the council, headed by GE chairman and CEO Jeff Immelt, also included Southwest Airlines CEO Gary Kelly, DuPont CEO Ellen Coleman, and Sheryl Sandberg, the chief operating officer of Facebook. Now, the group pitched a series of ideas, including worker training, cutting red tape and business permits, and visa applications for tourists, as well as facilitating small business loans and putting construction workers back to work. The group said their ideas could help spur a million new jobs in just over two years. Larry? All right, Eamon, sigh. Now let us move on. So why are U.S. business leaders turning pessimistic? According to Grant Thornton's most recent business optimism index, CEOs now think the economy is getting considerably worse, increasingly worried about their own businesses not going to hire, and they may start firing again. Here's the key stat. Only 45% believe the U.S. economy will improve in the next six months. That is down from 64% only three months ago. So why is business optimism plunging? Well, CNBC contributors Bill George, he's the former Medtronic CEO, Gordon Bethune, former Continental Airline chairman and CEO, and just for good measure, my friend Ed Lazier is the former chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors. He is now an economics professor at Stanford University. Uh, Mr. Medtronics, I want to begin with you, Bill George. I'm just reading from today's Wall Street Journal. This is uh, my former boss, Jeff Immelt. Train workers for today. Train workers. We have about 150 training programs in the budget. Streamline permitting. Well, how about EPA and the energy? So, uh, boost jobs and travel and tourism. I don't know how you do that. Uh, facilitate small business loans, huh? More government spending. Put construction workers back to work. Great idea. But what they mean is more government spending on infrastructure. Bill George, I look at this list with all due respect to my friend Jeff Immelt, and I say don't do any of it. Just do nothing. Maybe that'll reduce uncertainty. What do you think? I really disagree with you, Larry, but I think the president's got to ease some of the constraints. Business leaders are very concerned about gridlock in Washington, about playing politics over policy, in particular three major areas, regulation, uh, legislation, uh, continuing legislation, and litigation. And those things are standing in the way. You look at Boeing's situation uh, with the NLRB intervening, and Boeing's trying to put plant thousands of workers down in South Carolina and being blocked. Look at the number of pharmaceutical companies who want to bring products to market being blocked. Look at the opportunities to uh, generate energy these in North America. These are great ideas coming from you, Bill George. These are great ideas, but these are not the ideas in the newspaper. These are not the ideas that Mr. Immelt unveiled. These are not the ideas Mr. Obama talked about at this jobs creation summit today. Yeah. All right, Gordon, that's the problem. The stuff they're going to give us, the product is going to be so bad, it'll make the situation worse. That's right, Larry. What, the, what we need is, as Bill mentioned, uncertainty is the big dog here that's ah. keeping things from happening. Nobody's going to do capital spending when you don't know what the tax rate's going to be. You know what the health care issues going to be. You don't know what the regulatory issues are going to be. you got Dodd-Frank writing administrative mm -hmm. rules with hundreds of councils that have yet to be in, uh, implemented. Yep. And so who's going to go out and spend billions of dollars in this environment? The answer is you're not going to do it. Ed Lazier, Larry, I, I think it's you. not. I wouldn't say it's the uncertainty. I'd actually say it's the certainty. It's the certainty <laughs> of policies that we've already enacted. If you look back over what we've done over the past three years, what we've done is increased regulation, we've increased the size of the government, and we've imposed additional costs on business in our health care plan. And those are the things that are now certain, and those are the 
the things that are going to so uh, pre I, prevent I, business so, from growing. So you're saying that, see, that these are the blockages. This is why I'm taking a new position tonight. I say a pox on this whole political policy <laughs> story. Just do nothing. Make an announcement, Bill George. Henceforth, we will do nothing. And then the economy <laughs> might recover. Seriously. I'm, be, well, I'm doing my can't free market putting... thing. Larry, you can't keep well, putting there, roadblocks there are in the of way of business. They want to do something. You know, they want to generate more energy in North America. They want to have more life-saving drugs coming to market. They want to put workers in South Carolina to export planes overseas. Of course they do. But the real blockage here, Larry, is that if your business people are pragmatists, they decided months ago that the U.S. economy is growing less than 2%. The emerging markets are growing at 10. Where would you put your investment? Would you keep putting investment in a market where you can get productivity gains of more than outstrip the economy, or would you put it where you can grow 10%? Well, that's another These thing. people on the council. You see the Wall Street Journal uh, editorial today. The EPA is stopping one of the greatest innovations we have had in energy technology, the fracking revolution right. for oil, right. oil right. as well as natural gas share. And the EPA is blocking it every step of the way. In New York, the... Uh, the legislature is blocking it. This is why I say just stand there and undo something. Well, I don't want more stuff. I want less stuff. Larry, that's that mixed well, signal. That's the that's point, a mixed Larry. signal coming that's from that's the White House and then from the administration, whether it's a tourism issue, what they talked about. And take a look. And how's it hard to get a visa to come to this country? It's really tough. It's blocked a lot of medical yeah. travel. Not happening. Yeah. Big medical centers in Texas don't have patients because you can't get a visa. They yeah. go to Germany. We can fix that. Larry, I, but I must two, say, I too tough. I, I disagree with you slightly, Larry. One of the things I would say is that we are stuck with the current tax system, and there are plenty of things we could do to reform it in ways that would help business. And in particular, we overtax capital, not just in terms of the rate structure, but right. by not allowing businesses to expense their capital right. as soon as they invest it. To my mind, that would be the most Bad important Nazir. thing we could do to get, do, get you growth right. in the you job market. Right. But that's not it, in this it, article. It, that's not it, in this article by my great friend Jeff Immel, who is a great American, <laughs> but wrote one lousy piece. Here. He has told me. Now, this is important, Bill George. Listen to this. Jeff Immelt has told I emceed the Reagan Centennial Dinner about three, four weeks ago. Jeff was with me at the head table. We talked about tax reform. Jeff says to me, what we need to get this economy moving again is a 15% corporate tax rate for large and small business with no deductions. Now, Bill, I think that's a brilliant idea, but it's not in this piece. It's not coming out of this job summit in Atlanta. That's why I say, if you can't do anything good, then don't do anything at all, including more infrastructure spending, Bill. That's my big problem. Eddie Lazier is right. ML is right. The trouble is it ain't happening. That's true. It, it's not happening, but also they got so many blockages and everyone's holding fast because sure. you can't, there are thousands of jobs going unfilled on the West Coast because you can't get H-1B visas. So they move the jobs to India. They move them to China. What would you do if you can't employ workers? You had Sheryl Sandberg did. They need to employ people. They're growing fast. And, and Larry, there's you know, billions I mean, of dollars that companies have overseas. Let us They're parked over there. They could put some strings okay, attached yeah, to repatriate this, this money. This should be if a no-brainer. There's two, trillion, Larry, two sure. trillion dollars right, right. should have a tax holiday to bring, bring the money right. over here. If you don't bring the bring money back. back in, you don't get the tax holiday. Right. This is a no-brainer. Well, I'm not hearing this. I'm all ears. No. I'm not hearing this no. today. I'm not seeing this in this article by email. No, that's that's right. something we should do. Absolutely. It's a no-brainer. should happen you could tie that to capital spending it wouldn't have to be do you have your cell phone back. with you yes yeah. i do then call them right now they'll listen they won't Larry, listen, to me. They'll listen right. to me they will listen to you you're uh, an important so. person bill george they'll listen to you you're an important person ed lazier you and i can talk to each other they're not listening to <laughs> us anymore i've never seen anything like larry that. larry yes, they, last they word, don't bill listen george. to me larry yeah well they, larry, they don't listen to me right. they you know what they're listening to they're listening to stalemate in Washington, Republicans right. and the Democrats. They're arguing about debt ceiling. You're all That's great. not the issue. You're all great. It's let's a lot invest. Of fun. By yeah. the way, uh, let's see. You heard Bill George just mention this point. We're going to move on real quickly. But Mr. George mentioned Boeing. All right, the Boeing story. Oh, Is Boeing anti-union just because it's opening up its new 787 Dreamliner jet plant in South Carolina? 